know where it came from, but we send it back to the sender. Repeat after me. Back to sender. Back to sender. Fire. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. Back to sender. Don't force things if things are not happening for you. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I can't make noise right now because um, it's early in the morning and people are sleeping and the walls are really thin so I can't do that but also I'm gonna give you guys a break from the high guys and comment down below if you actually want me to tone it down and start having like a normal intro that doesn't blow out the whole house with noise also can I just say I haven't slept a wink like not a drop of sleep at all so you know like that's great i'm feeling great hey feeling great looking good ready to take on the day y'all pray for me <laughs> anyway so today i'm gonna be speaking about some things that we honestly seriously for the good times for the vibes for the babies need to leave in 2019 we are entering 2020 it's a new decade we are gonna be new people we're gonna do new things we're gonna be bigger and better and stronger and we can't do that unless we leave certain things behind now darling shall we get into it the first thing that we need to leave behind in 2019 is this thing of people who want to throw birthday dinners <laughs> for themselves and expect us the guest whose birthday it is not to pay for the dinner what kind of shit is that first of all babe if i wanted to throw you a birthday dinner pretty sure i would have Second of all, I hope you're not expecting a birthday gift because I'm clearly co-hosting your birthday party or dinner or whatever it is. Don't, don't try to. Seriously guys, that is something that we need to leave behind in 2019. In fact, it should have, it should have never, it should, I don't know where it came from, but we send it back to the sender. Repeat after me, back to sender, back to sender. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost fire, back to sender. That spirit, that demonic spirit, that's one big, big python snake spirit from the ocean, from the river, needs to go back to sender. Seriously, guys, if you cannot afford to throw yourself a birthday dinner, then don't. If people don't offer, if your friends don't offer to throw you a something, something, your friends, your family, or whatever, then leave it alone. Have something small with your family, have something small with your friends or whatever. But listen, don't force things if things are not happening for you. That is just, let's just, let's just stop this thing, guys. And the, and the thing about that, ne, is people who do things like this, babes, they don't want to go to spur, hey? Like they don't. They don't want to go to spur or, or you know, you know, McDonald's or somewhere cheap. No, no, no. They want to go to Santan. They want to go to America. They want to go to the expensive places and want you to pay 300 Rand for a meal, guys, when it's not your birthday. And then you must also pay for a birthday gift and you must also arrange your transport. Get thee behind me, Satan. We are rejecting. We are rebuking. Sorry, admin. No, 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 no. This leads me to my next point, guys. Why are we getting into debt to impress other people? People who won't even matter two years from now, even two weeks from now. Or even if they do matter, why are we getting into debt to impress people? Listen, guys, you do not borrow money for luxury items. You don't borrow money to start a party or to throw a party. You don't borrow money to buy alcohol. You don't borrow money for the latest phone. You don't, bo you don't borrow money for things that are not necessary. Don't get into debt because you want to flex on the gram. On Instagram, you're looking like money. You're looking like hot thing. You're looking like, wow, like you got Beyonce money. But in real life, you are living in a shake babes it's not worth it like if you need to borrow money borrow money for things that are gonna make you money 
you need to use money to make money not use money to look like money so you can be broke it doesn't make the sense okay if there's something that my mom taught me from a young age she said listen babes if you don't have you don't have and that's it manage what you have and in time when you work you get the money when God blesses you you'll be able to get what you want but in the meantime accept that you don't have and be humble live the life that is your life Instagram is not real life what you are looking at is curated content it is planned content okay the rich people you are seeing on Instagram they're prostitutes let's just talk about that as well since we don't want to say it out loud we've been glorifying prostitution for way too long if you are giving away sex or your body for money okay or some kind of material gain that is prostitution and we've been looking up to prostitutes wishing we could have their life guys do you know how expensive Dubai is can we talk about that these hands who are going to Dubai Instagram hands going to Dubai left right and center like do you think it's free like guys we actually see these crocodile looking blessers these nasty men these uh, we see them on the gram even though these hands try to hide them we see them we know who's paying for it why are you still pressuring yourself to be like that like if you are gonna pressure yourself understand that what you are saying is dear God I want to be a prostitute please make it happen like that's what it is another thing if it's not prostitution some of these people have rich husbands good for them don't we all want a rich husband except my rich husband my match me I'm not it's not because like, he's rich I'm not rich or I'm depending on him it's not my portion eh? at, at, at all at all but what I'm trying to say is some people it's because they've got rich husbands some people come from rich families people are flexing and they make you feel like you're not good enough on Instagram because your age mates are rolling in Range Rovers and and and, and Lambos and you you are still pedaling your bicycle I beg pedal your bike until your time comes you don't know where that money comes from and that's what leads to some of you guys being scammed on Instagram because you think that just because someone has money that means you can trust them that means they can invest your money for you that's bull and that's why you're being scammed having lots of followers doesn't make you better than other people and just because you don't have a lot of followers doesn't mean you're any lesser Instagram likes don't define you Instagram followers don't define you and if you are just if the only thing that defines you is Instagram followers followers and likes I hate to say it you don't have anything at all and what you are saying is that you are nothing and you have nothing and you are worth nothing if that's what you want to base your worth on because likes and followers and Instagram it's all absolutely nothing if we want to talk let's talk about net worth at least but even then even that's a lie because you know why <laughs> money doesn't define you and let's be real because at the end of the day all that you have is your soul look at the rich people who have died this year where's their money left behind they're nothing well they're souls but the point is your money doesn't follow you to the grave so and on the flip side of Instagram and social media not being real life ladies what's this thing of you thinking every man must be rich what's this thing of you looking down on a 25 year old working man looking down on him because he's not rich looking down on him because he doesn't have money or he can't afford to buy you LV and red bottoms like that time you yourself are living in a one room with your family or five but you're expecting your age mate who has a job which you don't have to be rich and you are uncomfortable like I beg what's your problem what, what is your problem let's stop putting unrealistic financial pressure on each other on ourselves but on other people but on men as well why are you looking down on a hard-working man who makes an honest living another thing that I think we need to talk about in the life for the good times for the vibes for the babies for the health is body positivity is not nudeness you don't have to be naked to be body positive it's not one and the same thing you can celebrate your body and body positivity in clothing just saying and look man to each his or her own if you prefer to be naked and that's how you want to do things then good for you but can we understand that just because someone is clothed doesn't mean that they're ashamed of their body let's just get that straight the next thing I want to talk about is sexual assault and sexual abuse first things first you don't have to be physically penetrated in terms of rape to have been sexually assaulted it goes 
from someone touching you when you don't want to it goes from someone looking at you like you're a piece of meat someone making sexual remarks at you that are unwanted do not discount yourself do not be too shamed to to speak your truth because you think that your situation is not as bad because you were not raped abuse is abuse and assault is assault and your pain is real and you need to embrace it understand it acknowledge it and try to heal from it but if you hide from it you'll be a slave to it the next thing about sexual abuse and sexual assault if you are protecting your uncle your friend your your sister your brother your mom your dad you are part of the problem you are enabling it you are allowing it to happen because by keeping quiet and protecting them you give them the freedom to go on and make more and more and more people victims another thing a lot of men are quick to say yo if someone ever touched my sister that way if someone ever touched my mother that way if someone ever touched my wife and my daughter that way i would kill them but those same men who just made that statement are the ones who are going to be harassing other people's mothers sisters daughters aunties we have to why is it as women that when we try to explain why a man's behavior is inappropriate we have to say things like imagine if someone did this to your mom imagine if someone did this to your sister why do we have to say that first this kind of thinking breeds that thing where when a woman has been sexually assaulted people say things like she's someone's sister she's someone's wife she's someone's daughter how about the fact that she's someone period why is that not enough? The fact that she is someone, a human with rights and feelings. Why must she be related to someone else in order to understand her importance and her place? That gotta stop. We're not taking that into 2020. And on the other side as well, again, it's not only women who are victims of sexual assault. Men are sexual assault victims. Men get raped, men get harassed as well. Can we stop laughing at them for it? Can we stop teasing them for it? Can we teach our boys that they deserve to be protected? That that we don't congratulate them because women have assaulted them. We don't say, good job my boy getting an older lady and embrace the fact that an older lady took advantage of a child. The next thing that I want to talk about guys is something that is very near and dear to my heart that I believe in with all of my being and that is we need to learn to unlearn there are certain things that we've been taught that we live by and believe that are not true there are certain things that we have learned and that we carry that are not beneficial to us that degrade us that dehumanize us that decrease our value of life but we follow them and we do them because that's what we're taught was right do not blindly follow things you need to stand for something, otherwise you will fall for anything. Before you follow something, don't follow it blindly. Make sure you understand it, you're able to justify and or explain it. Because when we don't do that, we take the clothing of miseducation and place it onto the people who follow after us. Place it onto our younger siblings. Place it onto our children. Because you don't know better. You don't know better. You don't know better. And it passes on from generation to generation. If there's something you're following and you don't know why you're following, educate yourself. And don't be afraid to rebuke it and let it go if it no longer fits you. Learn to apologize to people. Learn to apologize when you're wrong and to drop your pride. But also learn to forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive others. Learn to forgive without receiving an apology because darling, you're not always gonna receive that apology. People say, why should I forgive her so that she can be free? Let me tell you, sis is already free. Sis is already living her life. Some people you are mad at don't even care that you're mad, don't even know that you're mad. But there you are carrying the weight of unforgiveness. You are carrying that weight. You are carrying the weight of unforgiveness. You are carrying the weight of anger and it is weighing you down. So learn to forgive without an apology, but also learn to apologize. 
So guys, that is the end of my video. And before I go, I just want to announce that this will be my very last video for the year of 2019. I will be back sometime in Jan. I should be I should be back in Jan. I can't say when, but I'll definitely be back in Jan. But guys, thank you for a brilliant year. We are on 1,500 subscribers and we are only growing. If you haven't subscribed yet, join the revolution. Don't be a bystander. Be a part of the revolution. Because when you see the revolution, grow you will know that it is because of you your presence and what you've done and what you are doing your comments your sharing your liking your subscribing but anyway guys thank you for a brilliant year and thank you for all of your support from the bottom of my heart I love you guys and I always try my best and I hope you guys enjoy my content it's only gonna get better we're only gonna go higher so stick with me and let's do the damn thing that's it for today guys i absolutely hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys <laughs>